the wild sack is trying to fix his snowmobile. What predicament are you in? He no go in slot, cause my hands are too fat. Wow, your hands are so fat they couldn't even see where the slot was at first. Yeah, that little slot down in there. In that wow. Sack. Hey, hey. Is this what recoil springs are supposed to look like? Oh yeah, totally. That's all we have right there. This is what your uh, flywheel should look like. What else is in here? Can of Pepsi. Oh, Stater's over there. Yeah, this is the old Stater. There's um here here. Rotate it towards the ignition coils. So so as you can see, there's a bit of de chipping there. Look at the ignition coils. There's some uh, delamination. I don't have enough fingers to point at it, but right, right in the center of the camera there, the layers are actually starting to break. The next one. This one, it's even worse. But the rest of them are... Mildly okay. Not that bad, like, you know. The sled might run with them, but... Yeah. So let me get this straight. You had a running driving ZL500 before you bought this turd? You traded for this turd? Okay. I'm just embarrassing you on the internet. I know. I'm a special kind of special. No! <laughs> well, you can't get the key in there. <laughs> yeah, um, it, he fixed the ground because, yeah, he's got it running in parallel right now. However, it's not parallel. It's parallel, but it's not redundant. If you ran two grounds, it'd be parallel and redundant grounds. The reason why he had to run new ground was because on his recent trip, a ground broke, and basically... He ended up having to kill this thing using choke only. Isn't that right, Sack? Many true. Alright, well I'm gonna wrap this up here. We should have snowmobiling video in a few days? Yeah, a couple if I get around to finishing that one. Up, yeah. Okay. And... Cut.